Hello fun people, I'm Isaac Carlson and today I want to talk about Poe and Tigress' relationship. Are they friends or is there romance between them? Are they just partners in battle or is there something underneath the surface? Did they learn to have a mutual respect for one another or are they meant to be? We are going to explore all these questions today which were inspired by the comment left by Carolyn De Salvatore. and of course if you'd like to become a part of this hardcore kung fu warrior community then consider subscribing. When I initially saw that people supported Poe and Tigress becoming a couple, I was taken off guard because that was something that I hadn't really considered at all while watching the trilogy. I mean, on the surface, they just seemed so different, so the two really didn't seem that compatible. One was a hungry panda while the other was a fierce tiger. While Poe was very goofy, wild, fun, and enjoyed kicking butt, Tigress was much more reserved, hardened, and attempted to distance herself from others. They just seemed to have vastly different outlooks on the world, so clearly they weren't always on the same page, which led to conflict. But at the same time though, when we look at their backstories, they actually have a lot in common. It's kind of astonishing how many similarities they have since they were both orphans who were adopted by a father figure that transformed their lives forever. Mr. Ping brought in Poe and supported the noodle-loving panda, and Shifu welcomed Tigress into the world of Kung Fu. There was ground that they had in common, which meant that they had potential to grow a friendship as they began to empathize with each each other's strengths and weaknesses. Still though, sometimes in Kung Fu Panda and the series Legends of Awesomeness, they annoyed each other, hurt each other's feelings, and were at odds. But there were other moments where we could see that they really cared for one another and wanted each other to be in their lives. Their relationship wasn't perfect, but there was definitely a bond between them. While Poe's arrival at the Jade Palace infuriated Tigress since she believed she was destined to become the Dragon Warrior, the truth was Poe adored Tigress. In Secrets of the Scroll, we discover that Tigress was the reason Poe initially fell in love with Kung Fu, so he was in awe of her when she trained. Now that same respect wouldn't be given to Poe from Tigress right away, she was pretty cold at first. Oh. You don't belong here. But especially through Poe's resolve to defeat Tai Lung, he was able to show he had the heart of a hero. Soon after the defeat of Shifu's son in the Legends of Awesomeness episode Scorpion Sting, we begin to see the villagers question Tigress's feelings for Poe, even though at the same time, she wasn't necessarily fully supportive of him just yet. So do you love Poe? Is Poe your boyfriend? What? what? No. He will be ready. There were times, like in the episode Chain Reaction, when Tigress argued with Poe and resented him for being chosen as the Dragon Warrior. Their friendship was strained by these moments of doubt given by Tigress, and Poe often felt pushed away. But when they were able to come together and fight as a team, they were a powerful duo, and Tigress eventually was able to accept Poe's place in the Valley of Peace. While Tigress was beginning to grow fonder of Poe, the Dragon Warrior also occasionally showed off a clear interest in his friend in moments like in Bad Poe. When Poe's evil side was created, that version of himself constantly flirted with Tigress, while his good side frequently complimented her. Tigress! Your fur is very shiny today. It looks nice. There seemed to be some subconscious attraction to her, and the truth was that she might have felt something as well for him. In the episode The Midnight Stranger, Tigress fell in love with a mysterious warrior who was actually Poe in disguise. The truth was that when there was anonymity to Poe's actions, Tigress was impressed by the panda and his mysterious ways. Ruggedly handsome lone wolf, living by his own rules, answering to no one. Waiting only for his true love to come along and tame his unbridled mood. While Tigress was a bit disturbed when she found out the Midnight Stranger was Poe, she continued to be positively impacted by the Dragon Warrior. Even before Poe became the Furious Five's teacher, he was altering Tigress's outlook on the world. In the episode A Tigress Tale, Tigress was able to realize that Poe's antics allowed him to live a full life. She came to understand that even though Poe got under her skin, she never wanted him to be any different than who he was. If you ever change, I'll kill you. They were shaping one another. In the episode Bride of Poe, though, we really get to see just how jealous Tigress could be of anyone else who got in the way of her being with Poe. At least, that's how Poe perceived Tigress's actions when he was patrolled to Lu Shi by his father. Poe just plays everything off as if there was some type of romantic undertone between them that was only really felt by Tigress, even though that clearly wasn't the case. I don't think Tigress actually felt any of these lovey-dovey emotions that Poe kept referencing and was just overanalyzing Tigress's actions. Look, what you and I had 
Dad was just a figment of your imagination. Had? Past tense. There's some type of connection between them that actually led Tigress to be protective over Poe when she began to sense there was something off with Poe's goat bride, but Poe mainly seems to blow it out of proportion in most ways. I think she was just trying to look out for the panda she was growing to respect, care for, and appreciate in her life. But at one point, she does seem to slip up when Poe questions her about being jealous, which I see as little more than getting her words twisted. You are jealous. You, no, no, you, I... It is your life, Poe, and I wish you nothing but the best. Friend. Some have also come to believe that Tigress would be one of the best partners for Poe based on the rules that are placed upon him as the Dragon Warrior. The Sacred Onyx Council currently dictates that Poe would be forced to relinquish his title as Dragon Warrior if he ever gets married, since his partner would be in immense danger being close to such a powerful warrior. But some believe that rule could be overturned if Poe chose to marry someone that could defend themselves like Tigress. And while I can see the Kung Fu world putting pressure on Poe to marry another master, I don't necessarily think the rules of the Dragon Warrior would be radically altered just because of him forming a relationship with Tigress. We really don't know for sure though since we only see them continue to evolve as friends. Tigress and Poe's relationship continues to build into Kung Fu Panda 2, where we see Tigress not only tolerating Poe, but actively attempting to support him. When they fight off the wolf army, they battle together. On their way to Gangmen City, Tigress attempts to help Poe through his conflict, and she even embraces him and tries to attempt to hold him back when she feared for his life. The hardcore do understand. But I can't watch my friend be killed. Tigress even eventually takes a cannon shot to protect Poe so that he could defeat Shen. The leader of the Furious Five had truly come to accept her role as someone who lifted up the Dragon Warrior, and Poe recognizes that by hugging her when China was saved from the wrath of Gongmen City's prince. In Kung Fu Panda 3, Tigress does question whether Poe is ready to be a teacher, but she also continues to help guide him in any way she can. Over the years, Poe learned to listen to her and accept her guidance, which was key in defeating Kai. Poe had to realize that he needed to become a master of chi to go against the formidable spirit warrior that had transformed his friends into slaves. But what does this all mean? Do I think they are in love? Well, I can definitely understand where people are coming from when they recognize love between these two characters. I think that love is one with friendship at its core. To me, this bond between these two animals that once seemed so different is very important to them, not because of any attraction they might have for one another or underlying romantic feelings they might possess, but because they help bring out better parts within them, which allows them to change for the better. Tigress and Poe both had Uwe, Shifu, and the support of the members of the Furious Five to guide them on their journeys. But the bond they developed between one another brought them to evolve their lives just as much as the rest of those influences. Throughout all of their adventures, Tigress made Poe a more mature, capable, and tough warrior, and Poe helped transform Tigress into a compassionate, understanding, and open individual. Their connection helped them rise out of the adversity they were both born within so that they could triumph as heroes of China. But let me know down below what your thoughts and theories are surrounding Tigress and Poe's relationship. Also, make sure to subscribe and click the beautiful bell, and then click on another magical video in the description or on the screen. Finally, as always, Thank you to my wonderful patrons. Thanks for watching and have a magical day.